What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am the Bald Ginger. We're jumping back into some road to the show here in the 2024 season, playing for the St. Louis Cardinals, as usual. Now, uh, we are sitting at 6-3 and three record for the season. We're tied for the division lead currently with the Brewers. As you can see, we see we've got Liberatory on the mound. I'm coming out of the bat here. Bottom of the first, one out, nobody on. Got a 263 average coming into this one. Jace Vines on the mound for the A's. Uh, he's got a 95 mile an hour four seamer, 92 on the two seamer, nothing else quick. First pitch from him, swing and then fouling off the four seamer just off the outside corner there. So that's strike one. 0 oh, and 1 count here. Got me to check, swing at the curveball below the knees. That's also going to be called a strike. And 0-2 oh is the count here in a hurry. Next pitch. Got me to swing foolishly at a curveball over the outside corner, but below the knees. It's a three-pitch strikeout. Wow. All right, top of the second. Still no score. Runner on first. Nobody on for Jordan Diaz. He's hitting 300 on the dot coming into this game. He's got a 1-1 one one count here against Matthew Liberatore. Rips it down there to third. Gets the out of second, relay to first is in time, and that's a double play, boys and girls. Alrighty, bottom of the third. 2-0 the score, St. Louis is out on top right now. Two outs and nobody on for me as I'm stepping up to the plate against Vines again. Watching the four-seamer there off the plate away. That is ball one. 1-0 one -oh pitch on the way now. Check swing on the changeup, but did not hold up in time. It is now even at one and one. Oh, wait. Maybe I did? I don't know. Oh, late swing on a curveball there. Fouled it off down the first baseline, so that's a one and two count. And got me to swing foolishly on a curveball over the outside corner and below the knees again. That's two strikeouts in a row where that's been the pitch that's done me in. Top of the fourth here, Bo Rodriguez stepping up to the dish for Oakland. There's nobody out and nobody on for him. He's one for one on the day so far. Got a two and one count in this at bat. And he rips a ground ball right to me almost. And relay to first and there we have it. Out number one in the top of the fourth is complete. Bottom of the sixth, it's a two to one ball game. St. Louis with the lead. They still have Jace Vines on the mound. He's only thrown 56 pitches to get to the bottom of the sixth where there's nobody out and nobody on for me. I take a four-seamer below the knees there at 93 miles an hour. And I'm ahead of the pitcher again. 1-0. Curveball low and away. Got me to swing feebly at it. Evens up the count at 1-1. One one. Third pitch of the at-bat coming here. And he hits me in the leg. That's not cool, man. Should know if you put it over the outside corner or anywhere close to the outside corner, I'm probably going to swing at it. Nothing came of it, though. It's bottom of the eighth. Still a two to one ball game. Runners on first and second. Nobody out. Trevor May is on the mound. I can't see what he can throw for a four seamer. His splitter only hits 89 though, so let's see what we get here. Ooh, gave me the gas. 97 miles an hour. Not even close to catching up to that. That was strike one. Wow. Oh, slider below the knees had me out in front just a smidge. And that's a swing and a miss for strike two. Oh, and two pitch here. Four seamer over the inside corner, but way up. Swing and a miss there as well. I couldn't find my bat against the baseball. My life depended on it in that at bat. Good news is we do win game number one. Somehow we stack down three more runs in the bottom of the eighth after I struck out. So yeah, hat trick for me. And yeah, it's a five to one victory. Let's move on to game number two here, shall we? All right. Here we go. Top of the first two out, nobody on for Bo Rodriguez. He's only hitting 244 now. We've got Martin Perez on the mound for the Cardinals. 1-1 one, one pitch to Rodriguez. And a little chopper to the right side, but that's an easy play for me. Ooh, almost threw it over the first baseman's head there. But we do retire the side, and we're moving on to the bottom half. 
Well, I'm coming up to bat third here, hitting 244 on the season. One out and runner on first for me. Uh, yeah, I can't see what he, what uh, Caprillian's throwing here. Four seamer there was 93 miles an hour. So yeah, that one looks like it could hit 95 or 96. A sinker hits 97. Uh, circle change on the inside corner popped it up first baseman runs all the way in to get that one and that's the second out in the first inning gosh I am really rocking the over tie game though as bottom of the third base is loaded and one away I'm stepping up to the plate all we gotta do is get one into the outfield and we'll get the RBI alright first pitch from uh, James Caprillian here oh made contact with the circle change just above the knees I was way out in front of it and fouled it off. So we have an 0-1 count. Second pitch of the at-bat. And, ooh, tough take on the four-seamer just off the inside corner. We're now evened it up at 1-1. One one. Pitch number three of the at-bat. Also inside off the corner. Makes it a 2-1 count here. I have a feeling he's going to go back to something off-speed, but it's going to be low and away. Oh, it was off-speed, but it was actually on the inside third of the plate and above the knees. How about that? Good swing timing, but not good contact, so we're back to an even count at 2-2 two and two here. Next pitch from Caprillian. There's a four-seamer that I again popped up to the first baseman near the pitcher's mound. Wow! I cannot buy a hit in this series so far. Top of the fourth now. Runners on first and second for Oledmus Diaz. There's nobody out for him here. We're looking double play all the way despite having a 4-0 lead at this point. Oh yeah, chopper to the right side. Did not get the out at second. Relay did not get the out at first. Oh, trying for the double play and didn't get a single out. That's unfortunate. Because of that, we're now in a 4-3 lead instead of 4-0. As the bottom of the fifth has me coming up to the plate for the third time here. There's one out and nobody on. Still got James Caprillian on the mound. Oh, forcing around the outside third. Got a decent rip on it. And this time... Finally, one gets out of the infield for the first time in the series, but it's caught by the right fielder because it was almost right at him. Bottom of the seventh. Oakland has now got a 5-4 to four lead. There's a runner on first and one away as I'm stepping up to the plate again. Fourth time in this game. Got De Los Santos on the mound. He's got a 95-mile-an-hour sinker, 98 on the four-seamer. Slider only hits 87. And he gives me a slider in the upper third of the zone, and... Slide it out to center field. The center fielder almost had to move. Man, that's two in a row. Not good, not good. Top of the ninth, it's a tie game. Five runs apiece. Daryl Hernandez. Hernandez? I don't know. He's coming up to the plate for Oakland with nobody out, nobody on. He's one for four today. Got a 1-1 count in this at-bat. Tries to find a hole on the right side, but all it finds is my glove and a relay to first for the first out. Bottom half of the ninth, runner on first and two out. My 0 for 7 in the series is really starting to bug me here. <clears throat> oh, I don't like any of these options. We're going to go for hitting the home run because we're not going to get any of those. Pitcher on the mound, Abner Uribe. He's got a 97 mile an hour four seamer, 95 on the two seamer, nothing else quick. First pitch from him was a changeup, had me way out in front, fouled it off down the third base line. So we're looking at an 0-1 count. Next pitch from him. Uh, Two-seamer this time. Late swing. Right fielder makes the play out in right field. We're going to extra innings, kids. All right, top of the 10th. Nobody out. Runner on second as we do have the ghost runner in effect. Cody Bellinger at the plate for Oakland here. He tries to send one up the middle. I got a glove on it. Relay to first. We get the out, but the runner does advance to third. <sighs> At least we got one out, and yep, nothing good happens there at the top of the 10th. Oakland scores a pair to win 7-5 to five in 10 innings. We're moving on to the rubber match of this three-game series. 
All right, here we go. Bottom of the first, runner on first, and nobody on us. I'm stepping up to the plate here. My average has dropped to a 217 after the big fat goose egg in this series so far. Pitcher on the mound, Gunner Hogland. He's got a 95 mile an hour four seamer, 93 on the two seamer, nothing else quick. First pitch from him is inside with the four seamer. That means ball one. We have a one and O oh count here. Second pitch of the at bat from Hogland. He's going, he's going, he's going. Oh, swing and a miss. And safe at second, though. I should have just let that one go. I'd have a 2 0 count. But instead, no, I got to try to swing. Late swing to boot at one way outside the zone. Count is even at 1 and 1. Chopper to third. Oh, liner to third, mind you. Hot corner makes the play there. Couldn't double it up at second, but, you know, as has been my way of playing here this series, we got the over rocking. One to nothing, a score top of the third. St. Louis has the lead. Just run around first and two away for Ramon Laureano. He's 0 for 1 on the day. Got a 1 and 1 count here. I think we're going to take the easy out at first. Oh, yeah, piece of cake. All kinds of time, despite him booking it down the line. The throw to first is in time by a mile. So that ends the top of the third. Bottom of the third. Two out. Nobody on. Still a one nothing ball game here. Got me stepping up to the plate for my second at-bat in this one. First pitch in this at-bat. Right down the middle with a four-seamer. And center fielder makes a long run into the alley to make the play there. Yet again, the Ofer is intact. Bottom of the fifth, runners on the corners, one away. I'm stepping in, stepping into the batter's box for the third time in this one. There is a three to nothing score here. St. Louis in the lead. Um, let's just try to drive in a run. Any long fly ball should be enough to make it happen here. All right. Checks on the runner before I get the first pitch. So here we go. First pitch, hopefully to the plate here. Ripper down the third baseline, but it ends up hooking foul. That is strike number one. We have an 0-1 count now. Second pitch. Easy one take, two-seamer way inside. Evens up the count at one and one. Oh, I'm doing anything to get rid of this Ofer in the series. There's one. Jack one to the left. Center alley all the way to the wall with that one. We're going to hold up at second because I'm not that fast. We'll call it a two RBI double. That's a thing of beauty. We've got the equipment pack. Hopefully we get something good out of that. All right, five to nothing is the score. Top of the seventh. Runners on first and second. Nobody out for Daryl Hernandez. He's 0 for 3 today. Got a 1 and 2 count in this at bat. The pitch to him now. Shortstop's going to field that one. He's going for two. Yeah, got the one at second. Did not be able to beat it. Or not able to complete the double play as the runner beats it out. Still top of the seventh. Five to one the score. Two outs now. Runners on second and third. Two and two the count for Ramon Laureano. He's 0 for three on the day. We're going to try to make that an 0 for five and keep this four-run lead. Chopper to second. That'll make it happen, kids. Throw to first and plenty of time. That retires the side in the top of the seventh. We're heading to the stretch. Don't forget your Cracker Jack. Bottom of the seventh, still 5-1. to one. Runner on first and two away as I'm up to the plate for the fourth time here. Pitcher on the mound, Dalton Jeffries. He's got a 95-mile-an-hour two-seamer, 92 on the cutter, 95 on a four-seamer. Let's go. First pitch here. Oh, right at the first baseman. And he makes the play just below the knees there. Unfortunate. We do win the rubber match here, so we have won our fourth series now. I, uh, yeah, two games to one. I can do math. But that's going to be the end of this episode because it is the end of the series. If you're still watching, thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all the fun social media things. And we will catch you guys in the next one.